What's up my little bitty babies? It's your girl Little Bit Guys and I'm back with another video. In today's video we're gonna be discussing DDG. Now DDG takes to his Instagram, actually to his YouTube, um, to apologize to everyone he got wrong. Now we know that DDG and CJ guys have had beef in the past. Be around to help me, but uh, you know, just made the high score on there. I said why not record it for the second time, you know what I'm saying? Since Chris think I punch weak, right? Yeah. What's up, bro? That's your face right there, bro. That's DDG face right there, bro. What's up? What's up, man? I broke my own high score. Yeah, quick capping, bro. You really don't want to smoke. I'm telling you. None of y'all don't want to smoke. It's with all my J on. Quick capping, man. And I'm not sure if it was ever completely settled, but we do have him now today in 2023, guys. So apologizing to everyone he's had beef with so cj has to be included in that and i think that's pretty big of him so yeah so we're gonna put the clip of that and let you guys see it for yourself now that i'm turning 26 in like a month and some change i can't act like that no more bro like i gotta just be a little little more player with it i feel like the the twitch took the player in this out of me and when I say player, I take, I say just take the cool out of me, you feel me? Like, I don't know, I, I'm just in a different space right now and I and I have been in this space that I'm speaking from right now for a few months. And um, it just took some time for me to realize, you know, where I was wrong at. I show support to all black creators, like even the people that I don't really like. At the end of the day, we got a lot of influence more than rappers, more than any, any other industry, acting, like, ain't no actors finna say, hey, meet me over here and a million people gonna pull up. Or a hundred thousand people ain't gonna pull up. Like, it's not gonna happen. It's a different type of influence and I feel like only the black community don't work together. I feel like that's within any industry, period. Like, we don't really work together. I'm not asking to be nobody friend. I'm not saying I wanna collab with nobody or none of that. I'm just saying like, I think as black creators, all ways, shape, or form, whether it's YouTube, Twitch, whatever, I feel like we should work together in terms of support, in terms of uplifting. I feel like we don't do that. So y'all would never see an episode from me dissing nobody. And if I ever do, please send me this video because I don't want to contradict myself ever again. I'm in my own lane. Whatever I do is what I do. What they do is what they do. And if they doing great, they doing great. That's what's up. They doing bad, hey, I hope you get it right type shit. You feel me? I feel like I'm just maturing a lot more. I'm crossing over the, the, the age of 25, man. I'm, I'm pushing 30, as they may say. And it's time for me to grow up. And I want to apologize to every single person that I ever disrespected on this platform. And moving forward, show nothing but love. It's nothing but love, man. That's all it is. That's all I really want to say. I ain't going to be childish and throw a little joke in and there. None of that. I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, I kind of just wanted to make a video to just let y'all know where my head been at lately. And why y'all haven't really been seeing me act like how I was acting. Not too long. And no one can forget the infamous beef between Funny Mike and CJ So Cool. If you guys don't know what happened there, I'm going to do a quick, and I do mean quick recaps before I get into what's happening today in 2023. But let's venture back in the past to 2021. And I think possibly 2022 is when they had their biggest beef splat. So let's get into it. Funny Mike, if you accept my challenge, then I will accept your, your invitation, man. My, my, it's not even a challenge. Mine's an invitation, too. I'm inviting you to have a boxing match with me. Man. Just like you invited me to come to your prom. Mine said we can go. Oh, what? It's a pretty like prom. I'm Leah, I want someone to raise your string. Yeah, I got raided. My video comment section got raided by Funny Mike. What? And if you don't know who Funny Mike is, he's a YouTuber that I want to beat up. No, no. And not like that. Like I want, I want to box him. Not like beat him up like street fight. You know what I'm saying? No real beat. Just for entertainment purposes. I want to box him. I've always wanted to box him because he's big in the YouTube community. He's also big outside of YouTube. He's been on like 
What's that show called? Wild and Out. He's been on Wild and Out. He's did that. He's doing Nope. And I do want to box. So basically, I'm just letting you guys know. I want to box. And celebrity boxing is super fun. It's super cool. We saw Jake Paul rise to the top. We saw KSI. Uh, Fousey too. Whatever he just said. All them dudes been boxing, right? A lot of spite. When I see the fighters do this. Like, I'm not saying that's weird, but it's kind of throws me off. Like, I don't want to see two people that just was fighting for 12 rounds hug and kiss. Because it just make me think, like, oh, y'all was faking this whole time. Like, y'all was letting each other survive. You wasn't really putting your all into it. I'd rather fight somebody that I really want to beat up so it could be entertaining. Because I wanted to get a knockout. Basically. I've never boxed him. Leah, am I a professional boxer? Nope. I have never boxed in my life. Never been to training. Never did anything like that. And the only time I ever fight, I look for one hit of quitters. KOs. I'm trying to hit you right here. I ain't looking to bloody your face. I was on some positive shit the day of my, my son party. You know what I'm saying? So I extended the invite to uh, CJ So Cool and his kid. The Connor Prime, a nice gesture. YouTube, in the black community on YouTube, nobody comes together. Nobody's doing nothing together because everybody got this. What it is, everybody got their pride in a way. Everybody feel like they want to be the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? When in the, you, know, you see the white side of YouTube, everybody's working. You get what I'm saying? Not that nobody needs you for. I don't need your views. I don't need nothing. Right. I'm trying to look at the positive output of. Why? Wow. What could it be if everybody come together? Come together? The black YouTube community come together, man. It's so much money out here for everybody to make. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm on some power. So I, I extended the invite to them. First thing he said is, oh, except the boxing match and move they, move they, move they, move they, move they Hold up now. I, I, I positively, you know, I, I, I gave you a positive invite, right? right? And you turn around and still find a way to twist it. Oh, box me, box me. My n at least come down here, tap in. Let's look face to face for the first time. And I'm inviting you to a positive event. You already, let's box. Well, let me tell you this. You's a hater. And you's a And now I feel like there's no way I should even be responding in this, but I just got to get it off my chest. This is not even made for my big page. That's why it's going on my brother channel. You hope. Ain't nobody boxing you. You know what I should have told him? Yeah, let's box. Come down here. No, 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 but we not going to get on that because I've been positive. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going no negative route with no. So with this being said, nigga, you. This man has killed somebody and now you're bringing my kids around him? Now my kids are hanging out with the murderer. Yeah, he's a YouTuber now, but he's a murderer. That's crazy, right? I'm a YouTuber, but I'm not a murderer. You can bring your kids to my house. You don't have to worry about them getting killed. But now I don't know what's going on. All right. When I was coming up, I seen your videos. I'm gonna admit to that. That was inspiration. But when I found out you was hating on me, I'm like, fuck a nigga. You must don't know, bitch. I don't give a fuck about this YouTube shit. It's fun, it do, but. Nigga, you got me fucked up for real. So when you see me, did my last, last and final. When you see me, if you still feel like punching on me, just punch me in my shit and get it over real quick. I'm gonna respect it, old whole ass nigga. I wanna smack the out of you. Funny Mike, you. I'm laying your down. Little funny ass foot, bro. I'm telling you. You think that's funny? So can you really get clout from saying that, oh yeah, I had CJ cool house air ball, praying ball with it? You wanna see some clout, bro? You see these hands right here? These are man hands. Ain't no games played with these hands, bro. I'm telling you. Well, I got a fan to shoot your house up with paintball guns. Nigga, we don't need a fan to do shit. What the f you talking about? We gonna slap who? Slap who? Bitch, I'm gonna be the last thing you slap and ain't shit for no clout. That's a message. I playing with me. Doing this week, you lucky they just paintball guns. I ain't got shit to do with that. But guess what? You say, man, 
I'll give you my address. I would DM you my address. Pull up with that hot boy thinking you. It's from a marketing perspective. Whatever I say, you know, people gonna take it how they take it. But at the end of the day, if I would have seen you after I said, yeah, these niggas my sons, I'm not finna, what I'm gonna beat on you for? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It's a marketing perspective. Look how far I went. It got us on this live. 60,000 people in it. You see what I'm saying? So I know what I'm doing. But then when I come home to the paintball shit, it's like, you know what I'm saying? We got sticks. So it's like, bro, I don't I don't understand why people plant. It ain't got nothing to do with you. That's why I'm here. You ain't doing it. See, if it, if it was me, it wouldn't have been paintballs. That's what I'm saying. So I'm like, damn, who playing? Like, who playing like this? Like, why play? Just keep it 100. Why play? But it wasn't you, so that's why we here. See, I'm a real nigga about it. I'm not. See, this is the thing about me right now. This is why I'm trending right now. For being a real nigga. Ain't nobody finna grab a camera and cry. Ain't nobody finna DM you and say, hey, you know what? I was wrong. Ain't nobody finna do the things that I do. I'm the only nigga like that. You see what I'm saying? Okay, guys, as you see, their history has not been good, guys. They have been into it, and it got pretty heated between the two of them. Now, the videos that I just put up might not have been completely organized, and I might have left some out, but you guys get the point of what I'm trying to say. They were not friends from the beginning, but I feel like CJ came um, left when Funny Mike was trying to come right. Uh, and I feel like still now to this day, um, Funny Mike is letting go of the beef. Now, he was recently in the hot seat, guys, by um, his baby mama slash girlfriend, Jaleel. Now, he was asked the question, why didn't he box CJ um, in his hot seat? And this was his response. Down. What you mean, let's spicy? Why you never fought CJ so cool? <laughs> why never? No. Because they ain't come with enough money, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we see each other and we, if he still got stuff on his mind, then in the streets is whatever. But, like, fighting them, like, boxing, man, they got to come with that bag, man. You think so? You, Everything. ain't we, no real hey, beef on your head. Ain't no real beef on my end, man, because his ass be clapped. <laughs> You guys heard that Funny Mike is crazy But he don't have any beef guys um, He said it's just for entertainment purposes And he said he only Coming with beef if CJ still wants to come um, That way But guys I don't know So you, everyone was asking for Kamari to come To the Bad Kids prom This is not on Funny Mike Because I was wondering like why didn't he invite them to me, at this point, I'm going to have to point a finger at CJ. Um, because, guys, because Funny Mike did invite them several times, but yet they still have not showed up. Maybe CJ have his um, reasonings, but he did also mention when he was going off on his live when he was in Mexico that he did not have beef with DDG or Funny Mike. So let me play that clip for y'all. Had to go live to get this off my chest, man, because... You no, know, we all like to play and say things and, you know, keep this entertainment going, this little drama stuff may get clicks. And at the end of the day, it should be all fun and games. I remember when I used to beef with Funny Mike. That was all fun and games. We literally used to DM each other. Same with DDG. I used to beef with DDG. We used to DM each other all the time. We got each other's numbers. If that's the fact, guys, I'm not really sure why Kamari and CJ haven't I went to the Bad Kids prom um, when they were invited. As you guys see, there is no beef between Funny Mike or CJ or CJ, or CJ and DDG. So, I don't know, guys. Leave your comments down below. Let me know um, what you think and why they're not going to the Bad Kids prom 3 or why they didn't go to the Bad Kids proms 2. Um, I know why they didn't go to the Bad Kid Proms too, is because they were beefing it at that time. But now we know they have squashed the beef, so what is the issue now? But anyways, guys, this wraps up this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You gonna say it or what? Say what? I just bought you a damn salad. Okay. Thank you to my man, my man. <laughs> say it. No.